I'm sure by now most of you watching have heard or read one of Charlie Munger's most famous quotes. The first 100k is a bit, but you gotta do it. I don't care what you have to do, if it means walking everywhere and not eating anything that wasn't purchased with a coupon, find a way to get your hands on $100,000. After that, you can ease off the gas a little bit. When I first heard this quote years back, I can confidently say it changed the future projection of my life. I did everything in my power for nearly four years to reach $100,000 from going back to live with my parents for some time, rooming with friends for cheaper rent, opting to stay in on Friday nights and weekends, picking up a couple side hustles on top of full-time work, just overall watching every single penny I spent and hoarding away every single dollar that I could. And let me tell you, it was very difficult. But there was light at the end of the tunnel, and in the summer of 2023, at the age of 25, I surpassed my first $100,000 and just under a year now later, I am already sitting upwards of $150,000, which, by the way, I do weekly portfolio update videos on my channel if you want to check them out after this. The first 100k is labeled the hardest because you don't have compound interest working in your corner yet. On average, it takes about 7.84 years to save your first 100k, assuming you save and invest $10,000 per year. I started officially investing just about four years ago at the age of 22, but I had been saving money in savings account from the time I was 18, so the time it took me was about seven years, but it would have been a little bit quicker had I started investing sooner. They say the second $100,000 is about 35% faster because compound interest is starting to actually do some work for you in your corner, and the second 100k on average takes about 5.1 years. As for myself, I'm now working on my second 100k and it's been just under one year since it hitting 100,000 and I'm already approaching almost $160,000 at the time of recording this video, which is absolutely insane. As your money starts compounding for you, the gaps in years to reach the next milestone of 100k increments gets faster and faster. In fact, they say when you hit $300,000, you're halfway to reaching $1 million on a time horizon scale as seen on this chart. As we can see here, year 15 is about 300,000, and by year 30, this projection is at 1 million, so about halfway in the time duration. The percentage timeshare of the first 100k is over 25%. I mean, the proof is just in the data here. It does, in fact, get easier and easier building up the portfolio after your first $100,000. Hitting $100,000 has changed my life, and I'm now going to run through a fun exercise to really demonstrate just how powerful $100,000 is over the long term, and hopefully inspire you all watching to save up for your first $100,000 or more if you have not already. So on this spreadsheet, I have a handful of financial forecasts for the future value of what my portfolio could be worth based on some different factors by the time I'm 50, and I'm currently 26 if you did not already know. Starting with the first one here, let's assume I start with my current portfolio value of an estimated $150,000, and I want my annual contribution minimum each year to be 15K. This is actually my yearly goal going forward. And let's say on average, the market returns 7% over the next 24 years. That would put my portfolio, drum roll please, at almost $1.7 million by the time I'm 50, and I would surpass my first million dollars at the age of 44 in the year 2042. It sounds absolutely crazy to say, but that's just basic compound interest. 7% annually also isn't an absurd estimation as the S&P on average over its lifetime of like 100 years has returned over 10%. Now, I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know the future. Anything can happen, but I'm putting my money where, I'm, where my mouth is and I'm taking a bet on the market producing similar returns over the next two decades. Keep in mind, this is an average return. The market could go down 20% for a couple years here and there, and the market could also go up 20 to 30% some other years. The keyword is average. Now let's check out another scenario here. What if the market underperformed and I only saw a 5% annualized return over the next 24 years? Well, it would still put my portfolio at almost $1.2 million by the age of 50, and that's assuming a relatively weak stock market. On the other hand, let's assume we have an incredible two decades and my portfolio sees a 10% annualized return. Well, by the time I'm 50, my portfolio could be worth upwards of $3 million. Absolutely insane. And again, this is just basic compound interest, everyone. There's no tricks going on here. To put it simply, I can say with confidence, 
that I can expect anywhere between about 1.7 and $3 million based off these projections and returns in 24 years time. I started this video out saying that $100,000 changed my life and I'm going to give you three more forecasts here that really drive that idea home. In this first one, I'm going to assume that I never invest a single dollar ever again into the stock market. Let my money ride for 24 years at a 7% return and it would still give me three quarters of a million dollars. This is life changing to my future self, knowing that I could have access to that much money, even if I did nothing else going forward. And that doesn't even take into account if I left the money to compound for even longer than 24 years. This is why $100,000 has changed my life. Just for fun, let's do two more and assume a 7% return on both of them. So in this first one, let's say I decrease my annual contributions by $1,000 every single year until I'm just no longer investing. I would still, at the age of 50, have almost $1.1 million, even if I stopped investing 12 years prior. Now, what about a scenario where I just assume that I'm only investing as much as humanly possible every year? So there might be a couple years where I don't invest anything, and there might be a couple years where I do about 10,000, or some years where I only invest 1,000. Just random numbers, even still, at the age of 50, $1.1 million just contributing as much as I can, whatever money is left over. This, in my opinion, is the power of over $100,000 and why Charlie Munger suggests that you can start letting off the gas a little bit once you reach $100,000. Overall, the most realistic forecast for myself, I would say, would be the first one here with 15K annual contributions at a 7% annual return. So this is more my number, the 1.7 million. That is the number I mostly look at for myself personally. And I'm curious to know what my viewer situations are like. Are you on your journey to saving your first 100K? Or have you already achieved your first 100K? And what was that like for you? Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to read your input. Thank you all very much for watching. If you have made it this far, be sure to drop a like down below. It helps the channel out immensely. And also be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video in the future.